Okay. <laughs> okay. What's this guy's team look like? Survey says Venusaur, Aromatus, Stakataka, Umbreon, Raichu, Golisopod. Really cool to see the Umbreon. Let's see. I wonder how we break this guy. His Trick Room setters are either the Aromatus or the Staka. So if we lead Gallade, we can stop the Staka, which means he's most likely going the Aromatus route. And I just don't know if... I, I think I have to go Gallade Aegislash if I want to break the Aromatus. Yeah. I don't even know if that can break it, but I, I'm pretty sure I can. Gallade's also good against the Umbreon. Probably good against the Raichu. Against the Galissapod... Aegislash is pretty decent. So we got these two mons. What are we bringing in the back? Am I actually going to bring that boy Bulu? Am I bringing my Bulu? I'm thinking about it. I kind of like the Bulu. I think I'm going to bring Incineroar and Bulu. Bulu, boys. Melodic could be good here, but I don't want to risk it. Actually, you know what? I will bring it. I'll bring Melodic over the Bulu. Just because they recover... Makes I might if, if for some reason this guy gets a trick room up. The only way I think this guy's gonna get it up is if he leads like Staka and Aromatus, and I have to guess which one's setting the trick room. That's like the only way I think he gets this trick room up turn one. Other than some weird niche play, uh, I think I should be able to stop it if he's going like Raichu. If he's going Raichu trick room setter, I should be fine. So Gallade Age of Slash. We're pretty. We're about as set as we're gonna get. Aromatus was a pot. All right. Um, can I eat, like, a banded first impression? That's a good question, isn't it? Maybe. We're gonna go Weef Blade into the Aromatus, and we're gonna pop a Z-move into that slot. Never any nightmare. That's our big play. I think he's gonna be first impressioning my Gallade, but I think I can eat it. Like, Gallade is actually kind of thick, but mostly on the special side. It's just, I really think he has to be, like, orbed or banded if he wants to pick up that big one-hit KO on our Gallade. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. Yeah. See, if he was banded, though, that would be doing so much more. Weave Blade's not... Oh, actually, that's, is, that is a ton. That is a critical hit, Weave Blade. And you know I needed it. You know I needed it. And the fact that our Aegislash is going before this Roman just means he pretty much was setting up the big Trick Room. So... He actually might have been banned on the Gliss Pod, and that's just how much that does. Like I said, Glade is pretty thick. We should be able to KO the Aromatus, all thanks to the crit from the Glade. I think this is going to KO. It's going to be doing neutral damage. So, I mean, I, I wish I had, like, a Steel Z move. Why don't people use Steel Z Age of Slash? That sounds so good. But yeah, this should be enough to KO. Aromatus is really specially bulky, but, like, bruh, this is a Z move. So, like, regular Shadow Ball probably could have done it, but remember, I wasn't planning on getting that crit. So we're going to take out that guy, and next turn, Glisspot can totally go for an Aqua Jet, but it can't go for another first impression. So we're going to see. Let's see if he sends out Raichu. It's going to be Staka now, so that means he most definitely has... Ah, uh, that means he really has that Aqua Jet, doesn't he? Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we're just going to try and close combat that guy, and I think this turn I'm going to just set up a sub. Because I really just don't think that... Uh, I, I got I to gotta prepare for Trick Room, right? I think he has the Aqua Jet. I really, I'm just feeling it. Oh, no close. He's just going to eat it. Yo, you're just eating it. Are you sashed? No, you're not. Oh, my goodness. He just wanted to eat it. Yes, please. I'm pretty sure the Glade spot's going into the Glade spot, though. So, like, Glade has done its job so far. Dub goes out. We're faster than the Galissapod. What is your play, my guy? He goes for a Leech Life, most likely into the Glade. So, that is a free sub. Relatively free. Like, it cost us our Glade, but, like, in reality... I, I don't care. <laughs> like, I got a sub Aegislash. Slash. I got Incineroar or my Melodic ready to come out here. I think I'm going to bring the Incineroar in. Fake Out is pretty decent. And I think I'm just going to go, like, Fake Out. I don't know if I want to Fake Out King Shield. I'm thinking about it. I don't actually have to King Shield. Umbreon. All right. That's why he went so hard into getting the Glade off. He brought, like, two things that were just weak to the Glade. So we get Intimidate off here. That's pretty good against the Galissapod. Remember, Umbreon does get... Inner Focus has hidden abilities, so there's no reason to fake out that thing. I think the correct play is probably just to go fake out Shadow Ball and a Glissapod, and then Flare Blitz it next turn. Yeah. And if he protects the Glissapod, he protects the Glissapod. We've already seen a couple moves. Yeah, I don't really think he has Protect. He might be Vested. It's totally possible. He goes for a Snarl here. Oh, that goes through my... Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's a sound move. That totally goes through my sub. That's pretty sick. That's a good play, and it lowers my special attack. Oh, like, that's that's gonna really new to the effectiveness of this play. Yeah. 
I think I'm going to have to go for the uh, Flare Blitz, though. I think Flare Blitz might be able to take it out here. Uh, this Incineroar isn't that bulky. Actually, I'm just thinking about it. I'm pretty sure I just win if I can KO the Ghost Bob this turn. I'm going to King Shield this turn. I don't really have to, but I want to make it so that Snarl won't be doing a ton of damage. How's it going, man? How goes it? Yeah, so we're going for that big Flare Blitz into the Glissapod. It's going to be doing neutral damage. And we're going to see what we can get done here. It's a pretty obvious King Shield, I would say. But, I mean... He might be also foul playing me this turn. It's possible. So, either way, Incineroar's coming in big with the Flare Blitz. Can we just get the KO? Damn, that thing is extra thick. He goes for a Snarl with Umbreon. He's attacking with Glissapod. He's probably going to be taking on our Incineroar, which is totally fine. Like, remember, we have Melodic in the back for a reason. Melodic can probably grind out this Umbreon if need be. He goes for a big Liquidation. He is intimidated. Let me just say the fact that he is totally intimidated. Oh, that's like right going to proc our berry. Oh, is that a defense drop? That kind of sucks. All right, so this Flare Blitz will proc our berry then. So there we go. Flare Blitz into the Glissapod is going to proc our uh, Figgy Berry, and we're just going to go for a Toxic up onto the Umbreon. He can totally go for Snarls, but once we get the Toxics off, we should be able to... Oh, he did have the Aqua Jet! This guy had the Aqua Jet the whole time! That's actually incredibly, incredibly bad for me. I did not think he had it. He should... Why didn't he go for the Aqua Jet on my Gallade? I would have done it. I would have totally done that. That really sucks. Alright, Toxic hits on the Umbreon. That was totally needed. Uh, even if he had, like, Synchronize, we're a Poison type. Or, sorry, we're a Steel type, and we got a sub up. So even if he had Synchronize, it wouldn't really bounce it back. So Umbreon gets Toxic. That's going to be pretty good. Uh, I I should have probably... I just realized something. I've had a Melodic in the back the whole time. I could have switched in to get these uh, these boost boys from Snarl. Let me think. I think I'm actually going to King Shield this turn and just go for a Scald onto the Pod. Yeah. I'm actually... How do I want to play this? I, I can actually protect with Melodic if I wanted to. I don't think he's going to Snarl anymore. We're going to King Shield just this turn. Just this one turn. I want to keep Aegislash on the board as long as possible. Like, he might just be Aqua Jetting into that slot. It's highly possible. He could also be Weech Life, but Melodic is faster than Incineroar was, and we were faster last time. So Scald's coming in. It is resisted, but I'm not super weak. Oh, he's at one. Let me get that burn. Let me get that burn. No! And he did Snarl! Oh my gosh! Ah! I mean, it's, at least it's going to give us a special attack boost. Yeah, critical hit. It's going to lower our special attack, but it's going to give us a competitive proc. So it's going to get plus one off it. He's going to be weak like moving us, though, and that really sucks. I'm not as... Oh, shit! He's Z-move! No! Did we just lose? I can't believe this Glissapod set still has this many tricks up its sleeve. Like, I'm, I'm playing this way too safe, I think. I think I'm playing it way too safe. Savage Spinout's going to be hitting off here. This is boosted off first impression, and the only saving grace here is that he's intimidated. It shouldn't KO, unless it crits. Holy crap. Stop it. Alright, so we take that. Let's see. What is the play here? I want to recover. I actually just want to protect. Actually, I'm just going to recover. I think I can get away with it. And I think I'm going to Shadow Ball the Glissapod. But yeah, this is a pretty this is a pretty serious game, I think. It's pretty close. There's the recover. I needed it. I'm looking at the Glissapod. I'm like, he has Leech Life. And I still just think I should be able to get away with this. Snarl should not KO. It should not. Yeah, there we go. And we were faster than Glissapod last time. He's going to give us another special attack boost on our Melodic slot. And our Aegis Slash, last time, as far as I remember, our Aegis Slash was faster than the Glissapod. So we should be able to hit the Shadow Ball. There we go. Stance Stance. Offensive Stance. That's what I'm talking about here. Yeah. Z-moves look cool, but I still don't like them. I liked I like gems better. To be honest, I'm more of a gem player myself. Yeah, we're going to take out that Glissapod. Finally, that guy goes down. That Glissapod, man. Shout out to Moxie Boosted. That guy is... That's pretty good. And this Umbreon has been ticking out for quite some time. It's finally time. Look how... Dude, our Melodic is so set right now. Just like... Oh, I'm sitting at like that juicy plus two, boys. This plus two Scald is going to be hitting hard. And, uh, I mean, I might as well just stay in opposite stance, right? He's probably... If he snarls to KRA to slash, he's going to give us more boost. So that's a forfeit. We're going to take that one. That's our first game with this team. So pretty good Gallade... Totally checked that guy. We denied the trick room, and uh, we won that one. 1745, dude. From France, but like Japanese cart? 
What the heck? Alright, here we go. Hmm. So we see Cresselia Heatran, Zapdos Landorus, Kangaskhan Feeny. Not really chalky, but like kind of like that Heatran Crest Landorus core. Very good with Kang. Uh, I like Gallade here, but I don't really have a reliable way to stop the Trick Room. Do not have a reliable way to stop the Trick Room. So I can just let him Trick Room me, I guess. I think I'm going to lead Zapdos. Sorry, I, he's going to lead Zapdos, so I think I'm going to try and counter it. I think we're going to go Melodic. And I'm looking at Gallade. And I can hard switch in Bulu, make my electric my uh, Grass Drain happen, and go for like a big Leaf Blade. Maybe it'll KO? Yeah, let's try it. So we're going to go Gallade Melodic. We're going to go Bulu. And I'm looking at this Aegislash, and I'm kind of digging it. It just depends on if he's bringing Heatran. You know what I mean? Heatran's going to be a big problem for this team. But I think we got shots. Here we go. Here we go. That's a cool looking trainer too. I could dig it. I've actually bought this guy before. I didn't realize that it was this trainer. I've bought him a bunch of times. Uh, never with this team though. So let's see how he deals with it. Glade is pretty good. If I get intimidated, uh, you know, I love it the melodic, so I should be all right. And if he didn't leave with that Landorus, I think we're going to be okay too. So Kang Feeny, I got absolutely no problems with this. Um, I'm probably... I don't think he's stupid enough to fake out a Mega Gallade. There's the Misty Surge. I think we're just going to hard switch out our Melodic for Bulu. Bulu's going to activate Grassy Terrain, and it's going to let us go for a really big Leaf Blade into that Feeny. I think it's enough to KO. I really do think it's enough to KO, because it's pretty much just making it so like Gallade would be stabbing this move. And if Gallade was using like a super effective stab move against a Feeny, I think that's enough to get the KO. So we're going to hard switch in Bulu. We're going to change it to Grassy Terrain. Hopefully he doesn't know th how this QR team works, but uh, hopefully this works, right? I mean, I don't think he's... I don't think he's just letting his Kang do this. I don't think he's also. I don't think he's switching the Kang out either. I think he's probably just fake outing or double edging the melodic slot. Cause you wouldn't be. I mean, he could also be sucker punching the Gallade slot, but I disagree with that as well. Maybe he's protecting Feeny, but he has absolutely no reason to. Can you go Mega? I mean, the worst play here for him is to fake out the Gallade slot. As long as he's not fake out in the Gallade slot, I think this guy's on top of his stuff. So let's see what he goes for. Leaf Blade comes in, so he's probably just double-edging one of these slots. Big damage! Whew! Look at that damage, boys! Didn't even need the crit. Just like I said, huge damage on Feeny, and that's so big. He's gonna Frustration. I think he's hitting the Gallade, right? Oh, he's hitting the Melodic. So that means he has Landorus in the back. He's gonna be bringing Landorus in this turn. Uh, but... We already got, like, a sick KO on a mom that he... I almost want to say needs to grind out our Gallade. Like, what does he have? Zapdos? I mean, all we really gotta do is wait for the Zapdos to blow its Z-move. And we're fine. Let me actually think about how I want to play this. I want another boost on my Bulu. I think I'm just gonna... Let me just think about this. What if I just protect with Gallade for one turn, right? Just protect for one turn and hard switch in uh, Aegis Slash. Now, he might go for a Heat Wave. I really doubt it. But I really think he's gonna be going for a Frustration and like a Z move on my Gallade. So we're gonna get a tick of the uh, Grassy Terrain... Uh, we're going to try and bait out his D move, and then next turn, if he did, wanted to, like, protect with Kang or something like that, looks like he's not protecting, or probably not, right? He goes for a Tailwind. I care less about speed tearing right now. I just don't think he has enough damage in the first place to take me out, so Frustration's not going to work there. I think I'm just going to Z move the Aegis Slash and just close combat the uh, King's Con slot. Here we go. This could totally backfire on me this turn, but I don't think it will. I don't think Kang has enough damage to one-shot a Gallade either with Frustration. Yeah, there's the Heat Wave. I think that's actually really dangerous, because, like, you potentially are just activating a weakness policy for me. Frustration plus the Heat Wave might be enough to take the Gallade out, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's alright. We sh should be able to take the Zapdos out this turn. And then we have Melodic, uh, a low-HP Bulu. If we could take the Zapdos out, I think the Zapdos is, like, full speed. So I think, I don't know, we'll see how it works. We'll see how this goes down. I don't know. It could, it could, it could totally backfire. I mean, maybe I should have pulled the trigger earlier and just close combated the Kang. I just really thought that he was gonna go for something. I really thought he was gonna hard switch in the Landorus and go for a Z move on me. But if he's not Z move Zapdos, I mean, he still could totally be Z move. But like, I really thought he was gonna switch out and do some other plays. Yeah, that has to be a Z move. We crit anyways. I don't think we needed it. All right. So how do I want to deal with this? 
Hmm. I'm going to send the Melodic out just because I think... If I get the speed drop and wait it out, Bulu should be faster than the Kang, and that's going to be really big. Oh yeah, he trans like... This is pretty good here. Right, how do I actually want to deal with this? I think he's just going to go for Heat Wave Frustration. There's like two turns left on Tailwind, right? So we're going to Icy Wind him this turn. And I think I'm just going to King Shield. Just because I think it's something you kind of have to do. And then next turn I'll go Scald. Or maybe I'll just Protect next turn. I should probably Protect with Melodic this turn, but it's okay. I'm going to Shield Form this first turn. I'll get a little bit of, a little bit of Grassy Train back. Maybe he Z-Move on the Heat Train. That's highly possible. So let's see. Frustration was in a Melodic. He shouldn't KO us. He should not. Holy moly, that's a lot of damage, though. Is he Earth Powering me? He subs with Heatran. That's actually kind of lame, but I'll take it. Huh. Yeah, at least we got the, we hit the Kang with it, and that's, like, the really important part. This is really bad, though. It's Lefty, Stub, Heatran, and we have, like, Bulu. The, that's actually... We probably just lost because of that. Yeah, I don't know how I get out of this one. Just gonna protect here. I think the best thing I really have is just the shot. I have to like go for shadow balls on the heat train, and I don't really want to. He could sucker punch me and heat wave this turn. This is a really predictable play for me. Heat wave. It's not sucker punching. It's gonna do a lot. Yep. There's a frustration blocked. How the hell do I get out of this? I think this is his last turn of Tailwind. So, like, I almost want to say we have shots. They're just so small right now. Hmm. Sub goes down. I mean, I could try and burn stuff with this Melodic. Maybe that's the right play. Hmm. Tailwind Peter's out. Kang's slower than my Melodic, most likely now. Uh, let's see. You think he's going to protect with that Heatran? It's hard to say. I'm going to try and nuke the Heatran. He knows we have a Boo, though. Let's just go for it. I'm going to laugh. I get Sucker Punch. That's gonna, that would suck so much. Scald comes in. No protects. All right, let's see it. Come on, Aegislash, be faster than everything. I need you to be faster. No! Fuck! It's alright. I almost got it. I didn't know how fast the Heatran was, so... It's alright. Yeah, we lose Melodic. Is there any way I win this? We've seen Earth Power sub. We've seen all his moves but Protect. You have to assume his last move is Protect. I have Rock Slide. I think I actually have to lock myself on a rock side. I think that's actually my best play. Unless I want to go for like... Now, there's he's just going to go Heat Wave Frustration. Correct? I think I just need to go for like three rock slides. Or uh, two rock slides. And then like a wood hammer. Yeah, I think that's just the best play that I have. We're assuming that we're faster than Heatran too. Yes, we are faster. We make connections with both these. If we can KO the Heatran, it's going to take three turns to KO that Heatran with rock slide. And we don't even get the first flinch. Yeah. Oh well, I tried. That was a pretty close game. That guy had a lot of points, and like I said, I've played him before. He's pretty good. Oh well. Can't can't win them all. Um, I probably threw a little bit the turn that I let him set up a tailwind.